from laptops to mobile gaming and smartphones, we're increasingly reliant on mobile technology. And so often, when you're about to send that text, upload that photo, or reach the next level of your latest game, this is what you get to see. But if Danish design company Diffus get their way, all that could be about to change. This is Diffus's handbag, a revolution in mobile power generation. On its side are 50 small solar panels. And that means even in a dimly lit room like this, the bag can generate enough electricity to make sure your phone never runs out of juice. Like this. You can see now it's charging uh, from the solar energy. It generates uh, uh, two watts, which is quite good actually for a, for a solar bag. Uh, in, in this uh, first version and the second one is, is uh, almost up at 3 watts uh, and that's quite, a, quite good compared to other solar bags uh, already on the market. Solar panels are made of layers of semiconductors, like silicon. When sunlight shines on them, some of the solar energy is absorbed, freeing electrons in the semiconductor layers, enabling them to move. Channeling these loose electrons creates electrical current, which can be drawn off via metal contacts. The idea of combining solar panels with textiles isn't new, but what makes Diffus's bag different is that rather than just being stuck on, the solar panels are integrated into the design. We looked into different kind of embroidery traditions, and one of the traditions within embroidery is the way that you that you fasten sequins or palliates uh, that is made by uh, in an industrial embroidery process. So the idea was what happens if we kind of take that sequin tradition and, and make the sequins into uh, solar cells. So instead of just putting a big piece of, of, uh, of solar cell material onto the bag, we tried to kind of divide uh, the solar element into smaller pieces in order to get a flexibility, um, not in the single cell, but between the cells, there's a lot of, of flexibility. So every, every single one of these is a, is a solar cell. So, so they, they are kind of having the holes like sequence and, and uh, they are attached and, uh, and connected in one go, so to say. So uh, it consists of, of this kind of conductive thread that comes in these lines and, and then every solar cell can sort of hook up to that line and, and uh, be in a system of harvesting elements. By using conductive thread, Anna Louise was able to create a circuit combining over 30 small solar cells, creating a flexible and efficient power generating bag. But getting the physics right wasn't the only design consideration. The shape of the, of the bag also has a, a special uh, story because when you have it on your shoulder, your, your arm is covering as least as possible of the bag. So, so we sort of, so, so the arm is not sort of uh, damaging uh, the harvest of energy. So uh, we had to take all these different things into consideration because suddenly it's not just a bag that needs to look good. It actually has to live up to a lot of, of uh, different tasks and functionalities. And having created a power generating bag, as well as charging mobiles, Hannah and her team have begun exploring other possibilities. Among them, a welcome bit of help for anyone who's ever lost things at the bottom of their bag. Uh, so we worked with uh, optical fibres, actually the fibres of the internet, um, and we embroidered the fibers onto the textile. Uh, and as you can see, there's these patterns. Maybe it's also easier to see it here. You can see the, the optical fibers. And then you can actually um, put light inside here in the end. And then uh, you can see that. So inside the bag, there's a whole range of these. Um, and as you can see that when you open it, uh, there's actually light inside. Um, I don't know if you can if you can see it. 
The cost of making the bag means it's limited to the higher end of the market. But as the price of solar panels continue to fall, it could soon be in the high street. But using solar energy isn't the only way that textiles can be used to generate mobile power.